Hello and welcome to our video on staining. The purpose of staining is to increase the contrast between the microorganisms and the background so that they are more readily seen in the light microscope. So first about staining. This is the biochemical technique of coloring the specimens. Dyes are used to stain the specimens. Hans Christian Gram developed this technique in 1884. These dyes are organic compounds. It consists of two functional chemical groups that is chromophore and oxochrome which gives stain. And next, basic dyes or cationic. Basic dye is a stain that is cationic positively charged react with negatively charged. Cytoplasm of all bacterial cells are negative charged hence bind with basic dye. So the example for this basic dyes are crystal violet, saffronin, basic fusion, methylene blue and malachite green. And next about acidic dyes or anionic. These acid dyes have negatively charged chromophores react with groups that have positive charge. So the examples are eosin and acid fusion. And next, this staining are three basic types. So first, simple stains. That is, it reacts uniformly with all cell types and only distinguish the organism from their surroundings. And next comes differential stains. It do not stain all type of cells with same color. And next, specialized stain. It detects the specific structures of cells that is flagella and endospore. And next, above the procedure. First, by fixation, then crystal violet, iodine treatment, decolorization, that is, by use of alcohol, next counter stain with saffronin. So first about crystal violet, it is the primary stain. It imparts the purple color to all the cells. And next iodine application, it is used as mordant, that is, increase the affinity of a stain for a biological specimen. It forms insoluble crystal violet iodine complex. And next Gram decolorizer. It is the mixture of ethyl alcohol and acetone. It removes the stain from the specimen. This is the differential step. So bacteria retain color that is gram positive. Lost color after decolorization that is gram negative. And at last saffronin is applied. Gram positive appears purple in color while gram negative appears red or pink color. And next Acid for stain. It is also known as Shell Nielsen stain. It is a differential stain used to identify the acid first organisms such as mycobacterium. Here, heating of bacteria with mixture of basic fusion and phenol. It is also known as Shell Nielsen stain. And next, phenol and heat treatment which helps the stain to penetrate the cell wall. Acid for cells, not easily decolorized by acid alcohol treatment. It remains red. Non-acid first cells appear blue. This counter stain is methylene blue. And next about structural staining. So first endospore staining, that is schoeffer filter method. It detects the presence of endospores. So the steps involved are Malachite green, heat, decolorizer that is water and saffronin. Vegetative cells and sporangia appear red in color while endospores appear green. And next, capsule staining. It is to identify the capsulated organism. Nigrosin which makes the background black while crystal violet strains the cell. Capsule appears transparent as the outer layer of cell. And next, flagella staining by wet mode staining and lysine staining. Lysine's flagella method uses tannic acid. Flagella stains of mordants such as tannic acid and potassium and thicken the flagellum and hence it is absorbed by light microscopy. So if you have any doubt, please ask on to the comment section. For more videos, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.